Is she helping you clean it? No. No. Mm, doesn't look very good. So he said, other than that, say a prayer. Mr. Brock found the wet spots. Now, listen. Oh, that was terrible. Okay. Come on. You can do it. And he fell hard down our old wood stairs. Anything to get my attention. Oh, she's right in the water bowl. Is she helping you clean it? No. No. Why? I might actually have to cut this yeah. to get her head out. <laughs> and then you try to push her and she pushes back at you, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah. Here, you can hold this. Let me for a sec. I'll see if I can convince her. Probably not. You got it in. Problem with putting a hole in this. Good guys. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. <laughs> Where is she? Which one was she? Do anything to get my attention. Good morning. It's Saturday and uh I got a 911 call from Mark. He's out of seed planting wheat. So I gotta run him some seed. And then Chris had texted me about that ewe lamb. They're always fun. If there's a hole, a sheep will find it. Onward to put out another fire. Is that all you want? For now, just let me, I'll just get, I only have to go to the end. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just, I'll just wait here. Okay, off to what I was attempting to do before I got the call from Mark, which is add my two more creep feeders to these pens. These guys already have one, or a half of one. I'm gonna put, give them a whole another one, so they'll have one and a half. And then my new lambs uh, that were born last week, this, this week, finished this week, uh, we'll get the other one. Look at what Krista did. She already got it all ready for me and my pails of feed. She is literally the best thing that ever happened to me, besides my own children, of course. Um, she said there was a lamb down. Is it one of you guys? Yep. Mm, doesn't look very good. Pneumonia, maybe? I was afraid of that with these temperature swings. Hey, honey. Oh, what number are you? 77. You're not very old. Watery mouth. Which could be E. coli. Feeling better? Maybe it might be too late. Is that your baby? No, that's not yours. No, not yours. Where is your mom? Where is your mom? Let's get you out of trap here. It might be too late, but we won't give up. 
first of all. Let's get you sitting up. I don't like it when you guys lay like you're in the position of giving up. We don't give up here. Of course, I had to Google what is considered a fever on a lamb. It's looking like anything over 39 Celsius, which is 103 Fahrenheit, because I had to Google that too. So, we're going in the back door. Okay, it's temperature is completely normal, so now I don't know what to do. It's 37.1. All right, well, I got stumped on this one. I took its temp, and its temp is completely normal. It's 37.1. So I texted my vet, and I'm like, Ooh. I gave him the description of the lamb, and he said, uh, Rest floor, some of the antitoxin, the clostridial antitoxin. Um, and what else did he say? Tube it with some milk replacer. He said uh, the watery mouth is due to the fact it's so weak it can't get up and actually like get rid of the drool. So he said, other than that, say a prayer. <laughs> so we have all the stuff here. Tubing when lambs are really weak like this is hard. And uh, a lot of you have reached out and given me stethoscopes and all these things, and it's fine. But uh, it's just, and it seems really easy on that side of the camera, but it is not as easy as it looks. You have to find the right tube by feeling. And I have to Google it every time. I have to look at a YouTube video. There's a really good YouTube video, and it tells you which side to try to feel but I still find it really, really hard. So I got some good news and I got a little bad news. The good news is we successfully tubed that lamb. Its head is up, actually. So we'll see. The bad news is I turned around, there was another one that I thought was just sleeping, but it wouldn't get up and I'm like, oh no. So I'm thinking it had the same issue, but it doesn't have the watery mouth. So I think it looks a little healthier. Uh, I gave it the same treatment, so I tubed it gave it the clostridial antitoxin, gave it some rest floor, and said lots of prayers, as per uh, my vet's prescription. So that's a bummer. And uh, the thing with lambs, before people are like, you're not paying attention, they look like they're sleeping. Like they look so peaceful. They just kind of curl in. The only reason we saw the one is because it was splayed out. When they're splayed out on their side like that, then you know something's wrong. But this one just looked like it was sleeping. Sorry, that one, right? there so anyway let's uh, let's hope this works this is when I uh, hate being at three places at once okay we have creep area number one set up creep area two set up someone's already in so I'll have to come back and check on those lambs uh, in about four hours, but for now, I have to go take seed to Mark again. You guys, they, it's up. It's up. Now, it doesn't look, it doesn't look happy, but it's up. Oh my goodness. And that's the other one. They're both up. Holy moly. My battery died on my camera. <laughs> Poor planning. Why do you fail me so? Mark just needed a, li a few more bags in this drill. We're just patching up the spots we didn't get done before that great big monsoon last week. And uh, even the stuff we're planted, he didn't even really want to plant the headlands in case we have to replant this field. He's not overly excited about the emergence, but he's going to give it a few days just to see if it's too early to make that call. The good thing is um, the first fields that we planted was all certified seed which means like we bought the seeds. Uh, quite often with wheat, we usually uh, we usually reuse the seed that we grew. Uh, it's called bin run. So we get it clean by neighbors of ours, good friends of ours. And uh, and then we can, we can uh, 
replant our own seed, which really does help with the cost. But this year we made the conscious decision every every few years we like to just kind of start fresh with a uh, good certified seed yeah so it was a good year to to buy certified because i think perhaps if there was issues um with the weather or you know problems with the actual seed then sometimes there's like replant clauses so we'll have to see if that's if we even qualify but um, at least it's an option when you buy your seed, whereas when you do your own, you better, you have to suck out more seed out of your bin and get it cleaned and do all the things. So we'll see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't have to redo it all because uh, they definitely don't cover the cost of that, like the time and the frustration. Well, Mr. Brock found the wet spots. So, we carve. We are just getting ready to plant our malted barley, our winter barley, and uh, it's pretty exciting. We'll see if this works. This is our little try it for the first time crop, which is winter barley. It is a malted barley, so we're hoping to do a collaborative beer with River Road, but we're awfully late planting this stuff. I think it's usually supposed to be in early September at the latest. So, yeah. We'll see if she comes out of the ground. If she does, then we're gonna have some fun. Hello. <laughs> Back on the wagons. And I think Mark is back behind the chicken barns taking off some headlands so it always takes a bit longer starting i stayed home as long as i could had an extended lunch because i knew this takes a while and i have zero patience i only really just want to get loaded so i can go back and check on those lambs but i cannot believe they stood up and the one ran away so I, i'm speechless he's here he's here so Monty's been helping us out, and uh, it's been so nice just to be able to rely on him. He hates being on film, so I have to be sneaky. <laughs> Anyways, uh, both Jack and Jess came home. Jess came home last night, you guys saw her. Uh, and Jack uh, must have known, because Dad was about to have a stroke this morning, everything was going wrong. So he's helping Jess plant wheat. Uh, we just need a couple hands when we're filling the drill. It's a, it's a bit tricky, so he came home to help. So it's nice to have the kids in our back pocket. We hate bugging them when they're at school, but uh, this weather forecast is just garbage. It just helps when they're around. So anyway, very thankful. So it's about feedy time again, but look how... Hi, baby. Look how good you look. Now, listen. Oh. I guess it's feeling better. He is starving. This has been a good day. I decided to bring bring him up and put him in the pen here, in the bottle baby pen. Uh, it drank out of bottle really, really well, which means it's not been getting any drinking off mum. So we'll get it on the machine. We might just have to feed it a bottle and watch it for a few days, make sure it's out of the woods and uh, really get it trained on, uh, on these nipples. But wow, that was a good save. Good job, Carissa. I was gonna say good morning, but it's actually the afternoon. We have had a few 
minor issues. It does not pay to take a day off. Uh, yesterday was Sunday and it rained a lot. So we are down to our last 60 acres of soybeans. Hallelujah. Uh, but wheat planting has not been going good. It is just the ground. The ground has seen so much rain that it's just not quite fit. And uh, yeah, so a few wrinkles there. And then uh, when Mark was putting the tractor away on Saturday night, he noticed oil all over the window, all over the one front left tire and up around the axle and notice, and uh, he figures, I, th I think, I'm gonna get this wrong, an axle seal uh, is blown. That's part one. Part two is yesterday, because it was a day off, I don't do well on uh, taking days off, so I went to tackle a, uh, a room in our house that I put it this way, I like to shut the door on this room, um, but it's our catch-all room, and I'm like, I need to see the floor again, and I was up and down, up and down into the attic, and the la and uh, and then I, I went a little further into the attic and noticed we had a, we have a huge infestation of bats. Um, how do I know this? Because of bat feces all over the floor, so I was somewhat excited and ran down to tell Mark, and Mark was having a chill day on the couch, uh, and he's like, okay. I'm like, well, can you come up and see it? So he came up and then on the way down, he slipped and he fell hard down our old wood stairs. And uh, he's not so sure if he cracked some ribs. Uh, I've never seen him quite so sore before. So I've been just helping him all morning uh, with some heavy, heavier lifting and, and doing all the things. So uh, he's He's doing okay, but he's uh, he's a little tender. He just went ahead of me. We had to get that tire off and um, fill that uh, axle. Thank goodness there was still oil in the oil bath, so we didn't run it dry. He was looking for metal filings, and I don't think he saw any. So that's, fingers crossed, we're not looking at too, too big of a fix. But again, a tractor down, that's the one on the wheat. That's the one on our drill, seed drill. So uh, we're just hoping it gets looked at and gets back in decent time and, and also hoping it's not a huge fix. So now that you're up to date, I'm going to go grab him, come back. I have I was going to try to hoof trim today with Carissa and it's not looking like that's going to happen. So this might be a short little Monday update for you guys, but I'll be back again tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday. I have a bit of a water leak, apparently, across the road. Carissa just finished weighing my market lambs for this week. I think we have 25 ready, which is great. But yeah, she noticed, uh, thankfully, it's not in the pen. It's just a joiner and elbow um, right up at the front of the barn. So uh, better now than in the middle of winter when everything is freezing and my hands go numb. Uh, I always say that whenever I have water leaks, they're always in the winter. And I can never understand why it doesn't happen this time of year. So my wish has been granted and I have a water leak in the fall. in but I don't think it was elbow when I went to take these uh, seed these clamps off they were rotten they were corroded right through so they it was really loose so I'm wondering if it was just leaking here um, so we're gonna turn it on again and just see if I was able to uh, stop the leaking uh, this one it's leaking oh it's leaking terrible well, at least we know that it's the clamp. 
Oh, that was terrible. Okay. Let's try this again. You see a drip, but it's better than it was. Alright, so where are we dripping? We're dripping here. Alright, a little more tighten. I think we finally conquered it. I just double, uh, double clamped both sides and got them as tight as possible. So before winter comes, I'm just going to have to rewind this a little bit, this heat tape, because these are infamous for freezing. So I will be revisiting this, so stay tuned. Okay, another day, another day of hoof trimming, but today we have both Carissa and my sister watching and keeping me entertained. So if you remember, we did a bunch last week. I had to actually move them. Take you guys with me. I had to move them into the, into the center alley there and get them out of the way. So we will trim all these ones, put them back in here. All right. Have to do like a um, yes. their little uh, oh, okay. yeah, just manual. Just not plowed. You don't get fatigued, yeah, because sometimes some hoops are just bad enough that they're like woody. Yeah, these are yeah, these yeah. are soft hoops, yeah. You just get a feel for it for how deep you can cut. Well, yeah, and even that they can move at the last minute, and you're like, oh, well, yeah, that, but so it's like a yeah, you get a the more you do, I kind of go by the you can tell by the curl because their toes curl over, so you can kind of see where the curl starts. Yeah, see how that curl starts right, right there? So I just kind of cut there first. Like if you see white, Oh, Marge, you're not too big. Come on, girl. Atta girl, come on. You can do it. That a girl. You're not that big. Crazy lady. You too. Come on. Um, we're just doing some moving beans around. We, when we got out of the field, it was really late the other night and we have a bunch of beans on wagons. We had beans in the buggy. So Mark uh, took a couple loads to town and we have, uh, and then on those empty wagons, he just put, he just filled them again with the buggy. Um, it's a nice job to do on the rainy days is just take the beans to town that we needed to. Um, he's suffering and we're not sure if he is just really massively bruised or he might have cracked a rib. We're not really entirely sure. He's breathing fine and all that, but he's just, he's really sore. How are you feeling? What? I'm sore. You shouldn't have got a shouldn't have gotten a fight with the stairs. Yeah, well, that it, kidney's killing me. You think it's your kidney? I don't know. This will work. Is that what side our kidney's on? Yeah, two. Oh, right. <laughs> In your animal, I'm Anatomy was not my forte. Yeah.